side of the town. Getting there the traditional way, which is always fun. Free air conditioning, eh? Yesterday was a little bit rainy, it felt a bit more like English weather, but today the sun's out again. Pretty much a clear sky, and we're travelling for about 30 minutes to get to the Hacienda, which is an old coffee plantation. So I'm going to be having breakfast there, and then looking around and learning a bit more about the coffee production. Our first activity this morning is a horse ride. Luckily, it's a nicer day than yesterday, so we're not gonna get soaked through as we ride along. I've ridden horses a few times. Obviously, I'm not an expert. The last time I did it was in Ecuador about six months ago, and a horse fly managed to somehow go up my jeans and sting me all the way up my legs. It honestly felt like my legs were on fire. So as long as that doesn't happen, today will be going better than it did last time. So when we arrived at the Hacienda, they were telling us a little bit about the process of coffee growing. And now we are riding to where we can pick some coffee for ourselves. Pretty nice surroundings here. My horse is going so slowly. Probably not a bad thing. We've just got off the horses and they demonstrated how to pick these that they call the cherries and apparently the idea is that you twist it and then the stem doesn't come off so that next season it still grows again. I'm definitely doing it a lot slower than everyone else here. <laughs> Share it. <laughs> oh. oh no! It's dead. <laughs> they need some. Here you go, little ones. And some for your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you have to actually pull it quite hard. <laughs> That's what she said, literally. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's better. Yo quiero hacer eso. Just one? Solo uno? Solo una. Solo una. Solo una. Solo una. Solo una. Solo una. Uh -oh. no. <laughs> this one's on a weird este, angle, este so it's like squirting este, out everywhere. Este that one. Oh, <laughs> este <más scratch. laughs> Great. The next stop on my tour is a place called Seis Valles, which is a finger or farm and coffee plantation. 
and I've met the lovely owners here and they were telling me about how they're trying to lead the field in terms of environmental sustainability and social responsibility. So as well as trying not to waste water, they also recycle everything that comes out in the coffee process. So natural fertilizers. They're always trying to plant new trees as well. And they also work a lot with the local communities and provide a lot of jobs here with a fair wage for the people as well. They're also trying to develop new technologies to reduce the carbon footprint of the coffee process here. I can smell it from hey, here already. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Mm. Where does it smell? It's like a mixture between like a chocolate smell and then like a woody smell, like a woodland smell. So they have four greenhouses here, all for the natural drying of the coffee beans. And you guys can't smell it, but it actually smells like a chocolate factory here. Like even coming in from the outside, it smells so good. I've eaten so much, this is the only exercise I'm getting today, so. So every two hours, they have to make sure they mix up the beans. So they're all drying the same amount. Estos son dos variedades de café. So the first stop on my coffee shop tour is called Caldi's Coffee, which is one of the highest rated coffee shops in the whole of the country. Luckily, I've worn a loose t-shirt because as well as the traditional methods of brewing coffee, they also do some fabulous creations like this one, as well as some of the tastiest cakes in the city. So can you tell me about this method of preparing the coffee? Yeah, this is a very traditional method here in Honduras. We call it uh, our granny coffee maker. <laughs> And that's uh, the way that uh, people uh, in ancient times used to to uh, filter their coffee. What so, do they make the filter out of? Okay, th this is a, a, a like a, a rag made out of. A, you just uh, seal it with a with a ring, an O ring, okay. ring, and then uh, we have made different uh, tries and experiments to see uh, the the grind of the coffee, how of course do, do we need it to for it to extract enough flavors from the coffee so you can have a, the best out of it so yes yeah, it's, it's a very very traditional method a nostalgic method and so traditionally like could they have used any material that they had around for yes. the filter yeah they, they had to use what they had okay and then you've worked on that and turned it into the best coffee that's right <laughs> All right. great i look forward to trying some I've come to a tiny little cafe with a lot of personality called S2 Cafe and it's famous because they have 17 different methods of brewing the coffee and 24 different beans to choose from. So you get to choose what process and what bean and even watch them grind it just before you enjoy your coffee. So let's go and have a look. Coffee that 
good. You don't need milk or sugar. It's perfect just like that. Maybe I do need a biscuit though.